Hello, America! How you doing? Are you good? Thank you for coming out. I really appreciate it. I love America. I love living here. I've lived here for five years now. And you're good people, okay? I think you need to hear that right now. You're good people. You're, um, you're gonna get through this. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I've traveled a lot around America. I've got to visit some very strange places. I never know where I am half the time. Like, I know where I am now, thank you. <laughs> sort of, I know where I am, kind of. But if like, like if, think of a map of America and all that I really know is LA and New York and then just question mark and I have no idea what's going on in the rest of the country. There's like 38 states crammed up near New York and I'm meant to remember all of them. Nah, I don't think so. And I get it, like it's cold up there, I get that. And then there's incest down there. And... And then old people go to die down there, and that's... That's pretty much all I know about your country! My favourite time to live in America is Christmas, because that's when people come up to me, and they go, oh, do you, um, do you celebrate Christmas in Australia? No, Jesus was only in the Northern Hemisphere. Yeah, Christ only died for the sins of those whose toilets flush around that way, so... Are you going home for Thanksgiving? I get that a lot. Yeah. I'm going back to Australia, where my Australian family get together around our Australian dinner table, and we thank God America was discovered. Why would we do that? You gotta celebrate Independence Day, right? Yes. In Australia, we celebrate your independence from the British while we're still under the ruling of the British. Why would we do that? Because we love you, America, that's why. I watched Independence Day the other day. The old movie, the Will Smith one. Not the new one, not that crap one. The old Will Smith one. That's a good movie. I like it. Think of, the, think of the premise of that movie just for a second, though. Do you think America's the only country that's going to do something if aliens attack Earth? That's the whole premise of that movie. Every other country are just idiots and have no idea what they're doing. There's a scene in the movie, it cuts to the British Army in the desert, which makes no sense for starters. <laughs> and the guy from the British Army answers the phone and looks at his colonel and goes, it's the Americans, they've come up with a plan. <laughs> and the colonel of the British Army just goes, well, it's about bloody time. <laughs> That's their whole contribution to the war against aliens. In the desert, sipping tea with no plan. Have the Americans called? They'll save the day. Just sip your tea. 